Um, we started you know, attacking better, moving the ball better, um, less turnovers, even though we did have some silly ones down the stretch that hurt us. Um, but overall, I think we did a pretty decent job defensively against them. Um, I mean, they had 102, but they probably averaged 20-plus you know, more. Um, but for us, offensively, is probably the problem, which is it's kind of new, rare. Um, you know, you'd say defense wins championships, but you still have to be able to score. And right now, we're trying to find that that rhythm, that identity, um, you know, flow, getting a couple guys to you know, find some contested looks, you know, get us shooting a little better. Danny, is this one of these kind of games that yeah, loss is a loss, but did you like Pop said you can get something out of it? You know, you, you improve. Every game, even uh, when we play bad, you know, we watch film, see what we did wrong, see what we did bad. Still find the rhythm with different lineups with different guys, the timing of certain things, with LA in the post, the high low or pick and rolls, with power, small lineups, multiple point guards, two and three point guards out there. Um, so just learning it, and I think it's going to help us in the long run. We'll be a deeper team uh, come playoff time. You guys have played these guys twice tonight without Kawhi, obviously. How do you judge kind of the, the gap between you and them right now? Do you feel like it's close or closing or? It's hard to judge. We have, we have a couple guys out, not just Kawhi, but Rudy. Right. Um, other guys in and out and hurt and just coming back off injuries. So it's tough to gauge, but um, I think overall we, we played pretty good basketball tonight. Or we've competed anyway. Uh, defensively, so we played well. Um, it's just hard to gauge it, but um, we got it close. We cut it to six. One point, that's what we wanted to get it down to. We just couldn't get, the, get over that hump or the stop or the score that we needed. And James hit two big shots which uh, separated them. It was a three-pointer at the end of the shot clock and then another N1 three-pointer. You know, that's seven points right there. That hurts. Do you think Manu injured him with that hard foul on the N1? Yeah, you know, Manu's rough. <laughs> <laughs> that was real physical. And, I was worried about James. You know, lefty on lefty crime. So. <laughs> was there anything, uh, I think you we set a weird career high for the most made two-pointers in a game. Was there anything they were doing that, that opened up that two-point game for you today? That is you weird. Seem be, you, seem um, be, you seem to be getting to the rim a lot. Yeah, we, well, that was what was open. That's what they were kind of giving us. They're a three-point shooting team, so usually three-point shooting teams try to make other people's other teams not let, let them shoot three-pointers. Um, so for us, you know, we wanted to push the pace, attack, and obviously find people. Um, I guess for me, I was attacking. I was able to get a rhythm of hitting a couple of floaters and getting in the paint and then getting some layups. But um, that is a weird stat. Yeah. Hopefully, you can keep it going. <laughs> <laughs> you, you were talking earlier about it's hard to find sort of offensive consistency. Is that just a product of a lot of guys in on a lineup and different minutes, different rotations? Definitely, definitely. Um, night in, night out, we don't know who is what or who's playing. I think right now we're a little more consistent now. We have pretty good health besides you know two guys, Rudy and Kawhi. Um, but just finding rhythm for different people who's who's hitting, who's not. So because you know defensively we're doing okay, but offensively we're struggling. We usually have to keep the guys in that has the hot hand, which is really not that hot as a blade. Um, so we're trying to find scoring and finding a different lineup with small win. You got Patty, DeJounte, and Tony at the same time. Sometimes it's kind of weird figuring out who's the point guard, who's the two, three matchups. But um, so it's just you know, different flows of the game. It's hard to get a consistent rhythm and figure out. But it's all a part of you know, the NBA. You know, the great thing is we have another game in two days. Um, we're getting better. We're getting smarter. We're learning each other. And hopefully by the break, you know, we'll have it down, and we'll have a pretty good experience with our younger guys. That game in two days against Utah, it's your last one before the rodeo trip. Mm -hmm. Since you've been here, have you found that to be sort of a, a sneaky, important game as far as, as, as oh, for sure. springboarding that? All of them, especially our home court games. But you know, we've got to protect home, especially that we are have been playing this year on the road. We've got to rack up as many as we can at home. Um, got to find a better way to close out games and also play and focus more, 48 minutes, especially on the road. You guys are really good defensively, so is Kawhi just not that good defensively? <laughs> How is I don't that? Know, you guys second defensive efficiency without the best defensive That's player. That's a good question, man. Uh, I guess we have a couple of guys that can play some decent defense. <laughs>